So good morning, everyone. I'm Karin Hilgersum, president of Truckee Meadows Community College. I'd like to start today's ceremony with the Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we will have a brief prayer from Chaplain Jerome Washington from the VFW Post 3396. Let us pray. Almighty and powerful God, as we come before you this day, we give you thanks and honor for all that you have done and continue to do for us. As we join together and embark upon our journey across this great state of Nevada, we ask you to be our guiding light and to keep us safe while on this journey. Let us use wisdom and sound judgment on these highways and trails that we may arrive safely at our appointed destination. Almighty God, the service members' dog tags that we carry are a mere reflection of those who lost their lives since September 11. Let us honor and remember them for their selfless service to the nation. Let their families know their lives were not in vain. And because of them, we are able to enjoy the freedoms you have blessed us with. As we honor those who have lost their lives since September 11th, let us not forget the service of others and help us to be appreciative of all who serve past, present, and future. Remind us that our freedom was purchased at a high cost and we should not take it for granted. Remind us we should be a pillar of love and support for those who serve both near and afar. And we ask you for your continue, for you to, to continue to look over those who even now guard the gates of freedom, both in peace and at war. We further ask you to be a comfort to those mothers, fathers, spouses, children, members, and friends who've loved ones who have lost their lives and paid the ultimate sacrifice and hurt the final call of duty. Let's not forget these loved ones, but allow us to hold them up in prayer, love, peace, and in charitable service. As I close, May we have a brief moment of silence for those men and women missing in action, those hold prisoner of war, and all the departed comrades. These and all of the necessary blessings we ask, amen. Thank you for joining us to kick off the second annual Operation Battleborn Ruck to Remember event, a partnership between Trekkie Meadows Community College a veterans club from and uh, and the UNLV rebel veterans so this is a great partnership and we really appreciate it each year on Memorial Day oh yeah okay round of applause each year on Memorial Day we honor America's fallen soldiers and our student veterans have created this event I'm so proud of our student veterans they've created this event to bring attention to the true meaning of the holiday the Ruck March literally carries the weight of the fallen soldiers on the backs of participants as they traverse the Nevada desert. You know, that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. And we are so grateful. I am so grateful. I've mentioned only a couple of times since I arrived in Nevada that I'm grateful because if it weren't for the American veterans, I would not be alive today. My dad was in Amsterdam as a young man, occupied by the German Nazis. He was about six foot tall and about 100 pounds in World War II. That's how bad it was. My mom was living on the island of Java. She was an Indonesian. She was living in a concentration camp. My parents immigrated to America with $3 in their pocket, in part because they loved Americans. They loved Americans' veterans. If it had not been for American intervention in World War II and the courage, the courage of our American soldiers, I would not be alive today. So thank you. So as I said before, that's a lot of weight. Building on the success of last year's event, this year we'll have increased participation and support here in Northern Nevada as well as during each nine mile leg and ending in Boulder City on May 27th. I'm pleased to introduce our very special guest today, Governor Steve Sisolak, to say a few words on the subject of Memorial Day. Governor. Good morning. 
I am honored to welcome all of you to Carson City and the Battleborn Memorial here on the grounds. Memorial Day is about remembering those Americans who gave their lives while serving their country. Throughout the days leading up to this holiday, I'm privileged to meet so many veterans from around our great state at various events. And I'm honored to be here today to recognize the memory of our brave men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice. The Operation Battleborn Ruck to Remember is all about honoring Nevadans' fallen soldiers. Participants will be carrying nearly 7,000 dog tags while they walk over 400 miles. Each dog tag represents a service member who was killed since September 11, 2001. And included are the 57 tags representing our heroic Nevadans who fell in the line of duty during the global war on terror. I commend our student veterans from Truckee Meadows Community College and University of Nevada Las Vegas for creating this event to honor their memory. It is fitting for student veterans to, leave our to lead our community and our state because they are the future leaders of Nevada. And how about another round of applause for all our veterans in attendance today and those who planned this event for us. Thank you for being here and for joining me to kick off Operation Battleborn. I'd ask you to reflect a little bit on the backpacks in front of me on, if you can imagine, 7,000 dog tags representing 7,000 lives and individuals and families. And there's a story behind every one of those individuals. God bless our service members. God bless our veterans and their families. God bless the great state of Nevada. Thank you very much for joining us today. Good morning. My name is Steven Simi, and today I'm going to speak on behalf of a unique group of individuals over the next 11 days have devoted ourselves in remembering our fallen brothers and sisters in the most meaningful possible way we could. The Truckee Meadows Veterans Club and the, the supporters set off today on a journey that will cover the first, four, first half of the 400 miles. On Wednesday, May 22nd, we will pass over the 7,000 dog tags to the University of Nevada Las Vegas Rebel Vets organization to complete the remainder of the journey. We are setting out together as a unified Nevada's veterans to pay homage and sacrifices to our brothers and sisters who have fallen overseas since, since September 11, 2001. The devotion to this cause is awe-inspiring. Without fail, each leg of this journey is completed by those who understand that the next several days are, ref are fervent reflection, but feel that reflection is just not enough. So we carry the weight of our friends and our family in the form of ID tags, a weight we share to in some way experience a loss of each soldier, sailor, airman, marine, or coast guardman's families has left. But we also remember those who precede us. Thanks to the preceding generations of service members, the strength of our country and our community has provided us a chance to live in freedom and prosperity. So today, join us as we look to our departed warriors with grief and gratitude. But to join us as one community devoted to each other to continue today or uh, continue our na nation's legacy of liberty and opportunity. And now with that, I'd like to introduce you to Felipe Gutierrez. Good morning. My name is Felipe Gutierrez and I am Truckee Meadows Community College Veterans Pre-Admission Associate. I want to thank Governor Sisolak and President Hilgerson for taking the time out of their busy schedules for coming here today. I also want to thank the Chairman of the Veterans Service Commission, Bill Bowman, and also Fred, for Fred Wagner, for Deputy Director of NDVS, for being here today. I also want to thank everyone else for coming out here. Your support is what makes this event worthwhile. I want to thank Nevada Department of Veterans Service for coordinating this event and setting this up today, as well as providing some of the uh, promotional materials for our participants. I also want to thank our other generous event sponsors, Lag Tactical, Sportsman's Warehouse, 
VFW Post 3396, the University of Nevada Veterans Alumni Chapter, Sierra Meat and Seafood, they have, t they have helped us take this event to a whole new level. At this time, Operation Battleborn is Oscar Mike. For those of you who do not know what that means, it means we're on the move. So I would like anyone who's able to accompany us for the first mile to Sportsman's to please follow the rucks out. Troy Storman, please join me in retrieving the rucks. Thank you for coming today, and we'll be walking to Sportsman's now. Anyone who'd like to join us, please, please follow us out. Thank you.